Come on, wake it up, wake it up, boy. You already know, it's Diesel Talk. And I couldn't wait to get that motherfucking little ass intro out the way. Hey, because you know we got to dive into it and talk about Cat Williams. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody know what happened. Everybody watched the interview with him and Shannon Sharp. You know what I'm saying? Going all the way in. I think it's like, what, like two, two hours and 45 minutes, 46 minutes, something like that. Come on, man. He gassed the whole thing. Remember, this is Cat Williams. The dude that has been blackballed, they done, they done, they done, they done, they done, they done kicked him out. You know what I'm saying? They done kicked him out of the little group they done had. He was never probably in the group, but you know, the comedian circle. You know what I'm saying? And goddamn, Cedric the Entertainer. You know, my name is Cedric too. You know, it ain't a lot of Cedrics out there. I was like, damn, so I held said up here. But how this nigga cat broke it down? It had to be nothing but the motherfucking truth. How could it not? When you get a person that deliveries like this, they motor mouse it, and they just connecting the dots. Without, with no hesitation. You feel me? Come on, what else can you say? Now everybody is mad at Shannon Sharp. Why they mad though? They mad because he got all these motherfucking views. Think the video's at 30 million as we, as I speak right now on a Sunday on this video. 30 million? Like Shannon said, if it would've did low numbers like 2 million or something, nobody would've said nothing. But now it did so big, Oh man, it definitely put them other comedians in their motherfucking place and it definitely shocked the world. This was an epic interview. And he said Joe Rogan got like an interview, like 52 million or something, and that's over like four years. And then he got one with Elon Musk, he hit like 32 million, something like that. And he's coming to number three, and his numbers is steady climbing, you feel me? But motherfuckers always gonna be mad at you for what you do. That's what I'm saying, just like they mad at Cat. This interview had to come together like this. Everybody else sat their monkey ass down on his couch and talked to him and they mentioned Cat's name. It was only right for Cat to do the same thing. He couldn't go to nobody else's platform and just start talking and speaking. No, a real man's gonna come up there where these niggas was talking at, I'm talking too. And now it did, and now it did boo numbers like this. Now everybody mad, they mad at Shannon though. Let's look at this and see what he got to say though. He's sitting down with Ocho Cinco, you know, they talking about the shit. Shannon, why did you push back and say, well, Steve, you said this is about your first wife. Steve, you did this, this, and this. Nobody said a damn thing. Right. They said, when, 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 and, and he even asked me, Cat even asked, well, say, when, when Cedric said, when I said, said, there were reports that Cat said that there was a joke that he told that, that you stole from him. Mm. Cedric said, I didn't steal no joke. I said, he said, you know, it don't even sound the same. I said, okay. And see, that's what I'm saying. Said, think about the interview with Cat. Now, you got to think about that. Shannon is asking him, and asked him a question saying, hey, Cat said you stole his joke. You know what I'm saying? And repeated that another, at, at, at another show. You feel me? Oh, I didn't steal his joke. But you see, Cat Williams, he didn't need to get asked. What's up with you and Cedric? No. He came out as just drifty. You feel me? No, I'm going to tell it all. That's what a motherfucker's supposed to do. And you got to give credit what is, where, where it's due. You feel me? He down here. Now, ooh, all these other motherfuckers wish they could have done the interview. I bet. But this is what we always do as, as, as black motherfuckers. Motherfuckers always want to knock the next man down or talk about what they could have, should have did or if it went to this platform and it would did this and that. No, it did what it did right now and it worked out how it's supposed to work out. You feel me? Straight like that. Everybody, look, it's a lot of platforms. Look, on, 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 on back on feed, little, 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 little ass smack. He talking about Cat Williams. Now he's talking about Cat Williams used to smoke dope on 59th in Denver and all this he used to be on Slauson and Figure Roar. Come on, and all this stuff out there just smoking crack. Like, I got homies that can, man, come on, man. Niggas with a big came out. Niggas with a big came out, so now that this hit the internet like this, now niggas want to come out with all the stories. Oh, I seen him smoking dope. Oh, he did this. Oh, he did that. No. No, he should have came out with that, and he probably would have blasted your ass on there, too. That's what I'm saying. Niggas are fucked up in the head. Oh, they showed him cat joke and his joke. Nobody said anything. Right. Now, all of a sudden, cat, well, cat, hold on, and I said it. It was wrong. Hearing some of the things he said about people that I've I, I, I interviewed. Right, and, 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 and I feel I'm good. Side, side note. Know. And I understand what Shannon is saying, though. Because most motherfuckers that, 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 that are giving an interview, they want to they 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 talk about a whole bunch of things 
instead of the issues at hand. You feel what I'm saying? So now that Shannon did that, he's getting hella backlash. For what though? He shouldn't even get that type of backlash. Cat sat down and told him his part of the story. It went viral like a motherfucker and that's just the way it is. Everybody else can't get mad because they sat down in the seat before him. Cedric can't get mad. Faison can't get mad. Steve can't get mad. Y'all had a chance too. But because you guys want to tell a half-assed story or you guys didn't want to tell your... You guys want to tell your rights, but you don't want to tell your wrongs. And now that this motherfucker comes out here and just tells it straight off, now you 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 mad, you upset. No, no. If somebody was bucket or burns, yes, I know Steve. I speak to Steve. I know Quake. I talk to Quake all the time. And another thing, right? Yes, I don't say his number. If you get an interview, you can't. If you give an interview, you can't sit there and be biased in your feelings. And, 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 and let that give you any type of hesitation to stop you from asking the person that you're in front of questions just because you might be friends with this person, that person. No, your job is at hand. You got to do what you got to do. It ain't no shit because like he said, he got Cedric's number. He can call him. I'm sure he can call all these. Shannon can call all these motherfuckers. And sometimes people be feeling like because we got a little relationship or this, that, and the other, you sit down with one of my enemies you, 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 you don't be asking certain questions or, or don't let him say this. Don't let him say that. Nah, that ain't how it work. So nobody can really get mad at Shannon. Shannon got a job to do and he's going to do it. And it needs to be done. When they came on, I didn't cut anybody off. Mm. When was the time that I cut somebody off? Now you want me to cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> now that see. I mean, that's the point of having that space where you can tell your truth. That's, yeah. that's the whole point. And I know a guy and you can see, y'all see the interview. You can see he had Shannon rolling because it was just so direct the shit that he was saying about all the other comedians. It was like, damn, you saying this? Hold on, but Shannon didn't stop him, no. This is the point of the interview. Fuck it, this is what the world want to hear. This is what we want to hear. Ain't nothing wrong with that. People can't get mad at Shannon. I don't understand that. Now they want to see, no, oh, man, they can't say that. Now, this is the same guy. You know what? I ain't gonna leave you. No. Oh. Okay. Hey, hey, hold on. Hey, this is what I told you. And I and I get on Stephen A of this all the time. Yeah. I say, stop giving people, stop giving people your audiences here. Mm. Right. Stop giving. Right. Your platform bigger than theirs. Mm. I like that. Sometimes people, sometimes success, the only success they need to taste is taking a bite out of you. That's real mm. talk. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. I'm doing what I'm doing. Right. Obviously, obviously, uh, 27 million people yeah. thought enough of it, thought enough like, oh, he's sitting down with cat. Mm -hmm. Word of mouth. Maybe they saw a snippet or something. Mm -hmm. Man, I need to sit down and watch this. Hell yeah. yeah. Now, right, hold on. Let's see if we say two hours and what? 46 minutes. 46 minutes. Yeah. And I guarantee most people that clicked on that video set their ass down to grab some popcorn and watch that whole thing. Because I know when it started off, when it started off and I was watching, I was like, damn, he kicked it off. That's what you call off the dribble. That means as soon as a nigga trying to pass to you, nigga, from, from nigga on the, he on the sideline, out of bounds, he throwing that motherfucker in, nigga, as soon as you get the ball, nigga, you, nigga, you doing all type of shit, you gone. He gassed it off the dribble. Motherfucker, I, I wasn't even expecting it. I'm like, damn. Everything that he was saying caught my attention more and more and more and more and more and more. Where I had to sit down, nigga, and watch this whole interview, and all the popcorn was gone. You feel me? That was a yeah, that yeah. He served it. What more did a motherfucker say? Yeah. A good the last time, good two hours and forty minutes. Okay. Tell a me good two hours and forty sat down for a non-sporting event. Two hours, forty-six minutes, and five seconds. Right. And watch and listen. Um, I can't be. Remember, that's why they say linear television is dying with the exception of live events. Right. Because people's attention span. Everybody, yeah, is, yeah. Their, everybody is getting their info their tip from their from their smartphone. They're watching on their phone. They're streaming their phone, iPad, computer, whatever. Two hours, forty six minutes, and five seconds. Think about that. Yeah. That's a cowboy game. That yeah. 27 million people. There's some supporting a bitch. 
that don't get watched by 27 million. That's what you're mad about. Hey, man. I'm not mad about that. Right. That's what you're mad about. That's what people are mad about. They mad because nigga Shannon Sharp got the interview and it did numbers like that. Y'all gotta let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like and subscribe to the channel and shit, man. Share it, man. You know we going up, man. You feel me? This shit. So let me know what y'all think is gonna come, nigga, out of it now. You feel me? Because you know cat just sit back probably right now, like, yeah, 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 I got you niggas. I got you niggas. I got you niggas. So remember he was down here. But he knew inside his own heart, inside his own mind, he's up here. These dudes is lying. These dudes is all in cahoots. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, it is like that. It is what it is. I'm mad about that. Oh, no, that your boy, that you let me talk about your boy. That's not what y'all mad about. That's not what you're mad about. Oh, you're not even a journalist. He could have got so much to be nothing wrong. You're not mad about that. Right. You're mad that 27 million people. To the right now. Right, see? They, niggas always gonna come on. You're not a journalist, you're not this and that. They mad about the views that they got. You feel me? And that's straight like that, but they can't see it. They want to try to attack Shannon from other angles. That's some that's some bitch ass shit. You gotta say it like that. It's diesel talk. You know, we ain't scared to open our mouth on this channel for nobody. It is what it is. Sometimes you have a good day, sometimes you have a bad day. It is what it is. Mm. My part, my subscribers on Club Shay Shay jumped up 500,000. Mm, that's what you're mad about. That's what you're mad about. What you mad about now all of a sudden my IG. I'm over 3 million of that. That's what you're mad about. Right. The potential. Man, y'all know what's going to happen now? Man, somebody might come through a boatload. Oh, my. That's what you're mad about. Right, yeah. But when you when you was biting the apple, I never said anything negative about y'all. See, that's real talk. I gave you, I gave you y'all credit. I never criticized anybody because I look, the way I look at no choke. Everything I saw my brother do, I said I can do it. Right. You know why? Because he oh, my mama. That's some real it. shit. The nigga ain't hate, hate, hate on the next man with platforms. It is what it is. Like I said, man. Man, listen, motherfuckers clout chasing like a motherfucker. I'm talking about they running full fledged this shit. You know what I'm saying? Just for clicks. And then they get mad at other motherfuckers. This is what this internet is turning into. Cat shook it up. He done broke it. Everybody gotta talk about it. I know, I know y'all was probably waiting like, damn, Diesel ain't did a video on it. I was sitting back, man, seeing what was going on, you know what I'm saying, chilling for my weekend and shit like that, you know, just going into it. I was still, man, processing it all, man, laughing at the shit inside my head, you feel what I'm saying? Because there's so many different angles that the man attacked it on, you feel what I'm saying? He used, he used comedy in the interview. He used logic in the interview. He used facts within the interview. Then Q came out, Q came out and said, Man, he ain't lying. Cat's not lying. And you know, Q don't come out for nothing. He's not an internet motherfucker. He's not just gonna sit up here and just be jacking his jaws just for no reason. But see, people, people, I'm glad Q came out and did that because things like that shows that he's not scared to stand up for the truth either. And see, most people, they know the truth, but they ain't gonna come out and say shit like Q. They ain't gonna say that. But here's the head man, right? That was behind the movie. Friday after next, and he came out and said, bam, nah, cat ain't lying. You feel me? He 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 telling the truth. And he added on to his role during the whole process. They he made his role bigger and bigger. So we come into the shoot day by day, they like shit, we gotta do more with his character because he's showing out. He's showing out. Motherfuckers can't get mad at that. Well, Central Entertainer, and once again said, damn, we got that same name, man. Come on, man, he's supposed to represent. I'm trying to climb up to where you at, goddamn. And now, niggas say, man, what, like Cat said, he can, Cedric can't sing, he can't dance. We found out all this shit was fake. And when motherfuckers go back, what would he say, Ricky Smiley, niggas was playing a woman more than anything? See, people couldn't take that. And that's what most people can't take in life, man. Shit, it was a great interview. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hold on, I want to go back a little more. I don't see what he's going to say for, for, for we let's end this off like this. Like I did. He right. had to go outside to the woods to go to the bathroom just like I did. So hell, if he went to college, why can't I? If he go to the NFL, why can't I? Mm -hmm. So if I see you guys do something, you do it. You're damn right I believe I can do it. Yeah. Hell yeah. You, you wanna Hell yeah. So that's that motivation. That's, 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 that's that motivation I be talking about. You should see somebody do something and be like, you know what? I can do that shit too. Not hanging on them like, oh man, this is man, this is why that happened though. It wouldn't have happened because of this. It wouldn't have happened because of that. No, you never know when nobody's gonna get their time. Just like 
said it, it boosted his shit all the way up. And you know, Cat Williams, like I said, he's probably sitting at home feeling good right now because he expressed what he expressed and it did the numbers like that. Yeah, and it shut shit down. So what's Diesel Talk, boy? Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man, because you know it's going to be more of this, you know what I'm saying? You know, people going to be coming out with all this. Oh, I know this about Cat Williams. I know this and all the hate with Shannon. So y'all just let me know, man, in the comments and let me know if it's some comedy shit. It's Diesel Talk. I'm gone, boy.